Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brad Penovich here. I'm going to do quick little updates today that will be more now casting. So here's our storm. It looks like a mess. It is a mess. The one thing I have noticed this morning is that we've seen more sleet than freezing rain. So in some cases that's been a much better story for us because the freezing rain is a much bigger deal for power outages, but the sleet unfortunately is horrible for the roads. The roads look absolutely horrendous out there. Um, I can't even see pavement in most of my neighborhood. So let me show you what's going on here. I know it's really complicated and I know a lot of you are seeing a lot of different things out there. So this is the area in white that I can definitively say is primarily snow. Um, we're getting some much better snow totals in the foothills in northwest Piedmont. So we're probably going to overperform snowfall wise. I don't think there's going to be many complaints there. Um, the area in, in this kind of red or orange is this heavy sleet. I mean, at my house, um, I'm on the border of this. It is, it's been sleeting like crazy since about three in the morning and coming down. Now the area in pink is a little bit of everything. It's sleet and freezing rain. And unfortunately we are getting some pretty significant ice north of Columbia up to about the South Carolina border. Also got a picture in from Rockingham. Looks like significant ice as well. Um, and then you can see the actual report. So this is what the M ping, these IPs are, are sleet pellets and look at all the sleet pellets. And then you get up here, it's mostly snow. Um, but as we go into the afternoon, what I expect to happen is we're going to see this warm nose, which is this really warm layer of air to the south here, continue to move in here. So this freezing rain line is likely going to shift north a little bit. But then back here, this is the upper system. This is going to move through. And we're likely, everybody is going to see a changeover back to snow. And you're saying, everybody, there is snow being reported all the way down towards Pensacola, Florida and Montgomery, Alabama. So there is snow in this backside. We just got to get through this warm layer first. One of the reasons we're not seeing the freezing rain as far north is the low is tracking a little bit further south, which is not necessarily a bad thing because we didn't want to see a bunch of freezing rain. So it's keeping the freezing rain just to the south. This low stays more down here as opposed to up here towards Columbia. That might help keep things sleet. But as I mentioned, sleet's not always a great thing. It's great for the power lines and trees, but boy, does it make the roads absolutely horrible. But as long as we can keep this line kind of where it is, unfortunately, folks in South Carolina, you're getting some significant icing. I'm seeing a quarter inch down towards Lancaster, Winsboro, Newberry area. Northwest side of Columbia seems to be the area getting the, the worst ice. So let's look at this as we go into the afternoon. But before I do that, let me show you the surface temperatures real quickly because it is really cold. Temperatures are in the teens and 20s. So this is why I don't think we're ever going to see a change over to rain. It's going to be snow, sleet, or freezing rain the whole time. And dew points are really dry as well in the 20s. The only areas that are marginally close are where we're seeing that rain snow line right down here. You can see it's not going to move up a dar area. So it's going to stay primarily mixed precipitation for the rest of the day. So let's look at future cast. All right, so we're going to stick primarily with rapid refresh data that comes in every hour. So there's a look at the, the model guidance. We'll go through time. You could see by one o'clock, probably solid freezing rains. I do think we're going to see a changeover at least for several hours for freezing rain. I just don't think it'll be as long. Now, the problem is that could be really heavy rain at that point. So heavy freezing rain. So keep a close eye. We're not out of the woods yet for significant ice storm in the Charlotte area. But the fact that it stayed sleep most of the morning is, is somewhat of a good sign. You can see by two, three o'clock, probably solid freezing rain. Then the dry slot comes in, which if you've never heard that term dry slot, it's this little area of dry air that's down here in between the cold front and then the upper system. The upper system is here. This is going to bring another round of snow to the area this evening. Um, so we'll go into the evening hours, five, six o'clock. And then you see by six, seven o'clock, there's likely going to be scattered snow showers. Now this will likely fill in a little bit, but the mountains could see some significant snow with this backside and then it pushes off to the north and east and you can see how it moves out. So let me loop this just the next 18 hours. So we'll focus on that. That's kind of how things unfold. But I expect to see some significant road issues and maybe eventually some significant ice issues into the afternoon.